Welcome back to La Excellence New Initiative of Gist of Yojana. Now we are covering the Gist of Yojana for the month of November 2022, which covers Indian Maritime. Yojana magazine is an important source of material for the UPSC exam. This monthly magazine provides details of major government schemes and programs in various domains and it also is an authentic source of information for the UPSC exam. So now we are covering November 2022 which focuses on the Indian Maritime. Let us see chapter 1 that is Paradigm of Coastal Security. To introduce, India has a vast coastline stretched over 7,000 kilometers having over 1,000 offshore islands that brings enormous resources and opportunities. The long stretch of shores has been a habitat of varied coastal communities as well as vegetation. Safeguarding these waters from external threats and protecting India's maritime interests is of great importance, particularly in the existing geopolitical and security situation. Around 95% of India's trade by volume and 68% by value is conducted through these waters, with priority being accorded to port-led development plans in recent years. The safety and unhindered continu continuity of maritime trade through a wide network of ships is also a primary national concern as it directly impacts our economy. So if you see in the map, the states of West Bengal, Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Goa, Maharashtra, Gujarat, have the coastal stretches so from Kutch to Cape Comoran and till Utkal Plain we have a vast coastline the coastline vulnerability the coastal areas host major commercial cities and significant strategic and vital installations of defense atomic energy, petroleum and private ventures besides 12 major ports and more than 239 non-major ports which increases the coastline vulnerability. The geostrategic location of Indian Peninsula, if you can see here, it is located at a very geostrategic location. This poses typical oceanic challenges owing to the proximity to major international shipping lanes, hostile neighborhood-sponsored cross-border terrorism, transnational maritime crimes like narcotics, weapon trafficking, human trafficking, etc., and dense fishing traffic around the Indian Cape. Increased oceanic traffic may translate into an increased likelihood of maritime incidents and challenges in the proximity of Indian coast. The use of sea routes by terrorists during the attacks of 2611 highlighted the vulnerabilities of India's coastline and its security. The stakeholders in ocean governance, several agencies including the Indian Coast Guard, Indian Navy, Coastal Security Police, Customs, Fisheries, Port Authorities, Intelligence Agencies and other central and state departments look after maritime security and governance. The multi-agency concept mandates cooperation, coordination and institutionalized domain control of the respective agency to achieve foolproof security by optimum utilization of limited resources. As per the concept of tiered mechanism for surveillance in depth, the Indian Coast Guard is additionally responsible for coastal security in territorial waters. 
the director general of indian coast guard is designated as the commander coastal command with responsibility for overall coordination between the state and central agencies in the matters of coastal security the coastal security exercise namely sagar kavach is conducted by the indian navy along with the indian coast guard and all the stakeholders involved in coastal security the exercise involves synergized application of maritime surveillance assets coordinated air and maritime strikes air defense and submarine and landing operations the joint coastal patrol jcp by the indian coast guard and coastal police has been instituted across all coastal states and union territories the apex level monitoring and review of the implementation of measures for enhancing the effectiveness of coastal security framework are done by the national committee on strengthening maritime and coastal security against threats from the sea the indian coast guard ships and aircrafts provide essential deterrence and ensure the security of the maritime zones of india thereby protecting the national maritime interests in such zones to conclude the coastal security construct of the present day has successfully built synergy and coordination which are very much required in the current security environment the indian coast guard has grown into a force to be reckoned with and is rightfully called the sentinels of sea executing the roles of maritime law enforcement ocean peacekeeping and many other tasks